little bit of mist clinging to the mountains at the top, but we have more sundown here as we see Jared Graves going off behind us for the first of the stages. Such a hard start to the day, I think, just being on top in the cloud, having just such varied terrain, and it's pretty physical all the way, and there's just one little punchy climb, which felt confident I was going to be able to stand up and smash, but I grovelled up there, like, as if it was the last stage of the weekend. I won't leave without you by my side. I know you from the years of legendary racing downhill, but we haven't seen you in Enduro World Series before. How are you finding it? Mate, I love it. It's the first one I've done. It's a bit of an eye-opener, and uh, yeah, it's definitely a whole lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Loving it. Do you ride well in wet conditions? Oh no, I'm uh, I'm living uh, in Perpignan, the south of the France. It's yeah. <laughs> very dry. <laughs> Athletes are always still fast, you know, you haven't, you haven't forgotten how to ride, but your body just can't keep up, so you just need to kind of tame it back. speed on that final stage taking 12 seconds off Tracy there so look forward to seeing you tomorrow yeah it was uh, it was fun just a little bit of rain that makes still uh, still more fun to ride so it's not too muddy it's just a little slippery Renny at the moment you're eight seconds ahead on the final stage incredible run there yeah on the top I was thinking a little bit but in the lower section I really enjoyed, like, no thoughts, it was just riding and having fun. Day one of racing here in La Twille and it has been exciting. The women's category thrown wide open. Tracy Mosley taking the win on the first very long stage. Cecile Ravenel, second stage. And then Anne-Caroline Chusson coming back after a mechanical to take the win on stage three. And in the men's category, Damien Orton coming out on fire. Stage one and two chalked up for him. But then a crash just before the finish line left the door open for Rennie Wild Harbour, who has also been going well the rest of the day to take the GC overall as we lead into day two. <laughs>